Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to all of my YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat extended friends and family. This is your girl, C Temptation, the Queen Bee herself, coming at you again with another commentary of Chicago Talk. I'm sitting here with my glass of Moscato. Wanted to start by saying uh, namaste and peace be on to you and everybody that is watching this video. Um, wanted to give a brief commentary. Just wanted to give an update about the Jocelyn Savage story in reference to R. Kelly's story. Um, it was reported today is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everybody. So it was reported yesterday that the uh, parents of Jocelyn Savage had held a press conference, according to TMZ, and I did watch the video uh, myself, and the lawyers were present, and what they are requesting is for a meeting with uh, Jocelyn Savage on August 25th. Um, that's when R. Kelly will be in concert. So they are requesting Jocelyn Savage to be, you know, to meet with her on August 25th because they are concerned about her health and her well-being. But, you know, this is just my intake about it. And uh, also, please leave a comment on the bottom. Give me a second. Hmm. Got to have some of this Moscato because this is one of my favorite drinks. I don't drink that heavy. I'm just a social drinker. But, you know, once in a while, ain't nothing wrong with taking a little sip. What can I say? But uh, this is my intake about this Jocelyn Savage situation. Now, I can understand that her parents are concerned about her because they haven't heard from her in almost a year. And R. Kelly is kind of like really not helping in this matter. I think he's kind of holding her back from being in contact with her family. But this is my um, intake about it. See, no matter how concerned the parents are, you know, they could be worried, they could be crying, they could be sick. You know, they have to still keep in mind this young lady is 21 years of age and she is grown. Okay, that's number one. And unless it's the case, though, that, excuse me, my, my nose got the itch and I'm sorry about that. Now, unless it's the case, though, that, you know, she's mentally incompetent. And if her mother or her father um, it, it does have power of attorney over her affairs, they pretty much won't have a leg to stand on because I think that this this is not going to work. You know, because, I mean, she already put out there and stating that she didn't want to be bothered, you know, in the last video that she did. But the father is stating, though, that the video, you know, itself is not convincing to him enough. So, you know, he wanted to meet with her, him and the mother, and talk to her. And find out to see is everything okay with her, if she's okay, if she's, you know, if she's, you know, doing well. You know, which I can understand as a parent. But in the same breath, again, Jocelyn's 21, she's legally an adult, and there's not really too much you can say or do about it. But, you know, that's just my um, personal intake about this story. So, for all of my subscribers... Um, I want to thank, I think the last I checked, I had 1,007 subscribers, and I want to thank each and every one of my subscribers for your support, for your love, and for, you know, having Sea Temptations back. Now, also as well, though, to my subscribers, leave a comment on the bottom and let me know what you think about this story, because me personally, this is just my personal opinion, I don't think this is going to fly too much, because... You know, I don't think she's not really, you know, too much concerned about me with her parents because she's already told her, though, told her mother and her father that, you know, just to leave me alone, which is kind of sad. I mean, you know, if you don't see them, at least call them because Jocelyn, this is my message to you. And I'm just keeping it straight real. You know, as of next month on September 4th, I lost my dad, you know, and, um, you know, you need to try to take a time, take a moment to at least call them to see how they're doing because, Hell, I mean, the way how the society is nowadays in these streets, you know, in, in the United States, you never know when they're going to take their last breath. So, you know, that's my message to you. I mean, at least, you know, if you don't want to see them, that's fine. But at least call them to see, you know, just to let them know that you're OK, you know, checking to see how they're doing, how your sister is doing, because I really feel deep in my heart, though, that they are worried about you. They're very worried. I mean, for almost a year that you haven't talked to them. You know, that's kind of selfish on your part, though. And don't, baby, let me tell you something. Almost 52 years of age, I mean, I would give my last breath, though. I wish I could talk to my dad again just to say, hey, and put my arms around him and tell him that I love him. But I don't have that opportunity. He's 
he moved on to the spiritual world. Don't wait till it's too late. I mean, take time out to call them. Let them know you're okay just to say, hey, I want to check in. I love you guys. You know, I'm okay. Everything is fine. You know, at least do that much for them. You know, don't don't put them through this, though, because, I mean, you put them through an unnecessary type of headache and stress, and it's just totally uncalled for. But at the end of the day, you know, it'll still be up to you to make your decision in terms of what you want to do. I understand that you are grown, you're an adult, but, you know, at least give your family a call to let them know that you are right, because, you know, you're going to, you and you're really going to feel the feeling, though, once they take their last breath and they're gone. I'm telling you from experience, when you lose a parent, it's not a good feeling whatsoever. But any of which, family, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So I wanted to say namaste. I wanted to take a moment to give a toast to my 1,007 subscribers. Again, I want to thank you for making this channel successful. And I'm going to continue to work hard, though, as well as smart, you know, to make this channel more successful as well. So I wanted to say here's a toast to my subscribers. I want to say thank you again so very much for supporting Sea Temptation. Cheers. I don't normally do this, but like I said, I just want to take a time, you know, a moment to make a toast to everybody. But any of which, like I said, thank you to my subscribers. I love you. I bless you. I have faith in you. And I realize the creator that is in each and every one of you. And may you go in peace. Namaste. And until the next video, I love you guys. Dropping the mic. I'm gone.